Sony has long been at the cutting edge of imaging sensor technology, supplying sensors not just to their own famed Alpha camera series, but also to a number of other prominent camera manufacturers. Although, Sony's current Alpha cameras use variants of a proven 24.6-megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor, the company is working on a number of even more advanced global shutter sensors that could be used in future cameras. In this video, we'll talk about four experimental sensors that range in size from micro four-thirds to medium format and open up interesting possibilities on the horizon. One particularly impressive sensor seeing limited use in industrial cameras is the Sony IMX661. This large format CMOS chip features a global shutter and a staggering effective pixel count of 127.68 megapixels, with pixels on a 7.5 pitch. The IMX661's diagonal size of 56.73 mm actually exceeds current medium format sensors, putting it into the realm of large format. Now, primarily geared for specialized imaging applications, with some adjustments to reduce cost and power consumption, Sony could adapt this into a consumer medium or large format camera with incredible resolution and dynamic range. The ultra-high resolution and global shutter would enable medium format like image quality with minimal motion artifacts when capturing fast action or video. For applications requiring smaller size but still high speed, the Sony IMX342 APS-C sensor combines global shutter capabilities with a dense 31.49 megapixel resolution. Using a stacked CMOS design, with 3.3V, 1.2V, and 1.8V power supplies, the IMX342 maintains low power draw while enabling video capture at up to 35 frames per second. This makes it a notable upgrade over current APS-C sensors limited to a 30fps global shutter. Already deployed in Atlas 10 industrial cameras, the IMX342 could readily upgrade Sony's APS-C mirrorless lineup to over 30 megapixels while boosting burst shooting and video performance. The global shutter and fast readout would provide crisp, distortion-free captures of fast action and rapid camera movement. At 47 megapixels, the Sony IMX492 points to a potential high-resolution option for micro four-thirds cameras. Its global shutter design and 2.315 pixels can achieve 24 FPS over SLVSEC interface or 13.7 FPS with MIPI in 10-bit color. The monochrome version adds sophisticated quad-pixel binning HDR, combining four pixels into one for enhanced dynamic range and low light ability at reduced 12 megapixel resolution. While now marketed for industrial use, this sensor seems a natural fit for high-end micro four-thirds models from Panasonic, Olympus, and others needing compact size but maximized resolution and speed. 47 megapixels in a micro four-thirds sensor would enable massive prints and cropping flexibility previously impossible with this format. Alongside the IMX661, IMX342, and IMX492, Sony has produced global shutter sensors down to micro four-third and up to full frame in size. The 24.55 megapixel micro four-thirds IMX540 offers 2.74 pixels for strong low-light performance at reduced resolution. While their 24.6 megapixel full-frame sensor debuting in the Alpha A9 Mark III mirrors traditional DSLR motion capture while boosting speed to 30 FPS raw bursts. Across formats, Sony continues innovating with global shutter, stacking, and other techniques to push sensor capabilities forward. Their stacked CMOS design provides the fast readout speeds necessary to eliminate distortion with a global shutter, while BSI and onboard DRAM improve image quality. Well, Sony's unmatched sensor production capabilities give them the flexibility to develop imagers for applications from industrial to consumer. As their current series of global shutter chips makes clear, they have the expertise to bring significant gains in resolution, frame rate, and dynamic range whenever camera manufacturers are ready. Given Sony's lead in sensor fabrication, we can expect many of their innovations to make their way into future bodies, letting photographers capture images that simply weren't possible before. The combination of the global shutter stacked CMOS and BSI should lead to cameras with incredible resolution and speed but no compromise on image quality. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, thanks for watching.